right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Hello and welcome back to Well Lived. I hope that you guys are doing well and ready to jump in to another episode today because I am going to be tackling a space that has driven me crazy for the last three years and that is the organization in our master bathroom. Now as you guys know in the next few months we are going to be completely remodeling our master bedroom as well as the bathroom and I'm telling you if I don't gut that space really really soon I am going to go insane. Thank you. I will live with you in this hellhole, but I must express myself. If you don't let me gut out this house and make it my own, I will go insane and I will take you with me! Yeah, well, you know, maybe the house could use a little remodeling. So this is what our counters currently look like. There is stuff everywhere. I have my makeup, I have my brushes, my cleansers for my face, my moisturizers, stuff for my hair, uh, nail polishes. I have it all out on the counter basically because I don't have anywhere to put it. And let's not talk about what it looks like underneath of the counter because when you open up those doors, it is just a complete hot mess and I have to do something about it today. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go to Home Goods and to the container store and I just know that they have to have some sort of solution available to me to at least get this space organized before we go ahead and completely renovate this space in a few months. Sure I could probably wait another three months because I've been living like this for the last three years but there was just something about it today when I walked in there I was just like enough enough this has to get fixed right now so I'm hoping to find some storage that can go on top of the counter and hopefully that's gonna store like the things that I use basically every day so you know some of my makeup some of kind of like the day-to-day -day essential makeup essentials um, my brushes my cleansers moisturizers that type of stuff I would like to be I would like to have it on the counter at least for now when we do the renovation we're thinking to do like um, built-in custom medicine cabinets so that behind the mirror we would have a ton of storage and so maybe some of my everyday stuff will fit back there but for now I'm thinking some sort of organizational I don't know if it's going to be like a bin or drawers or whatever to go on top just to put all of my everyday stuff there and then if I could find something to go underneath of the counter that could be maybe like drawers maybe like a set of two or three drawers that will pull out because I did have some boxes in there that had lids but it's just not easy to get to the stuff that's in the boxes so if I can find something with drawers that can fit underneath of the cabinet that would be ideal and then we'll see what else we can find so I'm going to grab my sister and then we're gonna head over to both home goods and um, the container store and of course I'm taking you guys with me so I will see you there I mean, we can just look.
kind of really like this one. It has really great drawers. I think it'll be great for brushes and for my concealers and all sorts of things. Um, it's nice, it's really sturdy, but it's also $60 and I don't know if I want to spend that much. But I do think that it would be pretty on top of the counter and I could even put some storage up above if I wanted to, like another basket or something clear. I don't know. I really like it, but $60, is it worth it? I'm gonna put it in the basket, we'll see. So it needs to be at 20 inches or below. Oh, that works. Then it needs to be 15 inches at least deep. That works. And then wide is nine inches. So it might be a little wide. It, oh, no, 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 it works. Because I, I can have nine inches. This probably works. So I think I'm gonna put two of these in the, in the cart. I'm at least gonna try them. These are $19, you get three drawers, and I think they'll be really great to put underneath of the sink. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of storage out of these. $19, you can't beat it. We need a bigger cart. <laughs> like a little lazy season. Oh, this is 100% yes. All right, we just hit the mother load of options. So this one is very similar to the other one that was $60 over here. This one is $19.99. And it has these two big drawers down here. And then it has two drawers here again where I can put brushes and more shallow things and then here I can put like a lot of my cleansers this is a good one um, so I think I'm gonna get this one for sure then we have don't fall oh gosh that's falling okay. then we have this little lazy Susan spinner all my brushes for sure going in here 100% and getting this $9.99 and then another thing, because I have a lot of brushes, um, $5.99 for this. And also I can put like lipsticks and things in here. So I think I can get all of these for less than the $60 that was over there. I think that's a good buy. only $16.99. Yes. Isn't she great? lot of good stuff I can't wait to show you guys when I get home but first my sister and I we're gonna go and grab something to eat and then I think I'm still gonna head to the container store just to see what they have because if they have anything that is better than what I bought here then I can always bring it back and then one final thing you guys like these glasses 
my sister made me buy them they're from Amazon they're $15 I'll link them down in the comments they're everything okay I will see you guys in a little bit So you put this in your drawer and then you put your brushes right in here. Keep them nice and organized inside of the drawer. That's kind of cool. I'm walking out empty-handed from the container store. Like that's unheard of. But honestly, everything that I found at Home Goods is I think exactly what I need. So they had some cute stuff in there, don't get me wrong, but I just think that everything I got at Home Goods is gonna carry me over until we actually do the renovation. So when I get home, I'll show you guys everything that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed following us along today as we did some shopping. I was able to pick up a lot of great things that I think is really going to help organize our space at least until we start our renovation in a couple of months. So I can't wait to show you guys everything that I purchased. But there's been a little bit of a change of plans. And so while Tara and I were at lunch, we just said, wouldn't it be kind of fun if we got up tomorrow pretty early and head to the beach for the day? And I was like, absolutely yes. <laughs> Let me text Mark and see if he's available because he's currently golfing. And so I just wanted to know if he had plans to be golfing tomorrow. He said that he didn't. And so we are going to the beach. So instead of showing you guys everything that I purchased today and then going ahead and reorganizing the space now, I am going to spend the rest of this evening just getting us ready to get to the beach. Lucky for us that live here in North Carolina, the beach is only like two hours away. So you can make a really nice day trip by going to the beach, especially if you get up early in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the swimsuits and the towels, make sure that we have our chairs and umbrellas, get the cooler ready and cleaned out, and just get prepared for going to the beach on <laughs> a random day. And I think that that's just really cool that we decided to do it and we're just gonna make it happen. So I definitely did plan on finishing this project today, but you know what this is life and i think that we all just need some time to relax at the beach so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to spend the rest of the day just packing up and getting ready and then i will meet you guys on the road in the morning
definitely in my happy place. You guys know this by now. I absolutely love being here near the water, out in nature, just being outside. While it definitely is a little warmer and so I'm kind of sitting underneath an umbrella at the moment, but it feels so good out here. It's so relaxing. I needed this. I really did. It's the exhale for me. <laughs> pretty cool. It's a turtle conservatory, so you're not supposed to go over there and harass them. I think that some of the turtle eggs are buried back there, and I think every Tuesday they come and check on them to see if they hatch. Pretty cool. As Mark says he loves the beach, he just does not like to relax. He likes to be out in the water, he wants to run, he wants to walk, he wants to people watch, he goes up and down from the bathroom, like he never just sits. I could sit here literally all day and not get up. So he convinced Tara to take a little bit of a walk with him. So now I can just finally sit here and relax in silence. So nice. like they've been gone a while so now I'm gonna go and try to find them because I'm bored I don't have anyone to talk to <laughs> I don't see them all the way down there or all the way down there hmm. okay let's go find them I told the people, oh look! I love it, ooh I love this one. Ooh look at that. So good. Mark, you even got some? Not, not for me, but... <laughs> oh, I love it. There's more. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I was telling the people how happy I was that you guys were gone because I had some quiet time and then oh. I was like but oh, wait I missed them they've been gone for a while let me go find them <laughs> we're back together again I'm trying to get quick on the first time <laughs> I needed quiet time I told you guys
No better way to end a beach trip than with ice cream. And we're here at this local place in Wilmington called Boombalati's. And I got all vegan ice cream because if you know, you know. Mm. Mm. That one was the cinnamon oatmeal crunch. So good. So good. Good morning. I hope that you guys enjoyed following us along to the beach yesterday. We had such a good time and I'm really glad that we decided to go. How I figure is these projects are not going anywhere, but we only have a few more days of summer. And so even though I am very ready for fall to get here, it was nice to be able to spend the day at the beach. And again, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So let's get back to getting this bathroom together. There. I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys everything that I purchased at Home Goods, and then once I do that, we'll go upstairs and finally get this bathroom organized. So, the very first thing that I purchased was this container here, and the one that I showed in the video was a little smaller than this one and when we were walking up to the counter the checkout counter we actually saw this one that gave me a little bit more space so it has this really long drawer here at the bottom and then it has three sets of drawers up the top and i just thought that it would give me the maximum amount of space um, to put all of my stuff in and so the other one was $19.99 this one ended up being $39.99 i think yep and and I just think that this is perfect for what I need. I think I'm going to go ahead and set this on top of the counter. And then I went ahead and purchased a few other things to set on top of this. So at the end of our time, again, as we were going up to the counter, I ended up finding this beautiful, very heavy marble tray. And so what I think that I'm going to do is set this marble tray on top of the container that I just showed you and then place some of these other items that I purchased on top of there. Um, I just really love the idea of adding in this marble because I'm thinking of potentially adding marble into the space once we do the renovation. So when I saw this, I think it was, yeah, only $16.99. I had to pick it up immediately. So we have this Lazy Susan and I think that it's going to be really great for all of my brushes. At least I think that's what I'm gonna be putting in here. And so this Lazy Susan will set on top of this 
tray here and I'll go ahead and put all of my brushes and stuff in there. So love this. This was $9.99. Then I think I went a little crazy. I think I bought too many containers thinking that I have more brushes than I do because I believe that this is going to hold everything that I have. But I went ahead and also bought these two items. And so this one was $8.99. I really like it. I mean, I could probably even use it on my desk to put pencils and stuff in. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not because again, I think that that Lazy Susan container is going to be all that I need but I did buy this one I also bought this one and I do like this one because yes of course you can still put in you know makeup brushes here but then they also have little spots here that you can use for um, your nail polish even lipsticks so I kind of like that but I just don't know if I'm going to need it this one was only $5.99 so I don't know we'll see if these make it once we get upstairs but um but yeah I like them and then you guys saw that I bought one of these and I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for underneath the counter um, the, I, we, I actually ended up taking measurements before we went and when we got there and I measured this um, little contraption here it was able to fit with no problem so I actually only ended up getting one we're gonna see how that works and if I need another one they had plenty at the store so I can always go back um, and then I bought two things that have nothing to do <laughs> with the bathroom I found this cute little container or I guess it's like a little measuring jug I love the handle of it it has the measurements inside it was only $7.99 and I thought it was cute so I brought it back I don't know how I will use it maybe syrup I mean I guess I'll just use it as a as a measuring jug as it's supposed to be but I just love the look of it I think I'll put it on my kitchen shelves and I think that'll be really pretty and then the last thing that I got was this vase um, I thought that it would be kind of cute if I just put some little fall flowers in here and put this on the side table that I built in the living room a couple of weeks ago so when I saw this I just love the shape I don't know if you can see yeah I think you can just the shape and the dimension of this face it's really cool it was $19.99 and so I picked that up just as a little splurge as you guys saw in the video all of their like Halloween and fall decorations are out and so next week you guys will have to come back because I am decorating the house for fall and I'm sure that I will probably be making another trip to home goods because even though I didn't pick up any of that stuff um, for this trip for next week, I absolutely am going to have to pick up a few new things. So that is everything that I bought. I think what we'll do now is go upstairs and hopefully get this bathroom organized.
and we're done. Well, at least for now, <laughs> but I really do love how everything came together. That clear organizer piece that I have on the counter is everything. It has given me so much storage to place all of the things that I use on a daily basis. I love that there's a drawer for all of my lipsticks. I love that there's a separate drawer for all of my concealers and for my cotton swabs and for all of my brushes. Before, I was planning on using this. You guys remember this like Lazy Susan that I found? I really loved it, but it ended up being just too big. It was too big to place on the counter by itself. It was too big to place on top of the container. And so I decided to put all of the brushes in the drawer and I really love that much, much better. I love the marble tray that I ended up finding and placing all of my facial cleansers and my lotions and moisturizers and toners and all the things that I use to cleanse my face every day. I love being able to have that right in arm's reach so that I'm not always searching for whatever product I'm looking for every night. So absolutely love how the top of the counter looks now and how everything is organized. And then for underneath the counter, I love that three drawer pull out uh, piece that I found. I was able to put in all of the things that I don't use on a daily basis, but that I can get easy access to whenever I do need it. And then the clear drawers that I had on, um, that had the wood top, I had those already and I actually decided to keep um, keep those. I was going to take those out and put another one of those towers on the other side, but I kind of like just the difference of look underneath of the counter, if that makes sense. I just like having some things that were clear that I could easily see, like one box is full of medicines. Obviously, I don't need that every single day, but if I get sick, I know that that box is where all of my medicines are kept. And then on top of those boxes, I have some of the things that I need in terms of, you know, cleansers, deodorants, you know, some of those things that I need on an everyday basis, but I don't necessarily want those to be out on the counter. So I think both spaces work for me right now until we can go ahead and get our renovation started in a few months. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it took a little bit of a detour with us going to the beach, but again, that's life. We all deserve some breaks throughout you know, our lives just to be able to reset and relax, always be in nature. That's what does it for me. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed following us along and then finally seeing how this space is now at least organized. Eventually it is going to be beautiful and I can't cannot wait to start. But for now, I think I'm okay. I don't think that I'm going to go insane, <laughs> um, but I really do love it. And I hope that you guys do too. So with that, I am going to let you go. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and a great week. I will see you over on the blog on Wednesday. And for those that are subscribed to my newsletter, I will talk to you guys on Friday. And then again, I will see you guys back here next week to do some fall decorating. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one and bye.